This for me. Hey, Rosie. But look at what you are doing for this stranger. Not even a precious one. A beggar. Okay, my sister. Hmm. Ah, well, you can choose to respond or not. I don't care. Actually, I came here to advise you. Despite everything, I still love you as my sister. And of late, I've been seeing you working so hard. Washing, cooking, blah, 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 etc. You know, I know you are doing this for our boyfriend to choose you as his wife. Alistair, please don't stress yourself. I don't want you to waste your time. You know, you know there's no wasting to choose you over me. Do you know why? Because I do the most powerful things on bed. And that's the secret for a woman to win a man's heart. Thank you so much for your advice. But listen, my mom once told me that to be a good wife is to know how to perform your domestic works, respect your husband, and also give him peace. The bad game is a bonus. Excuse me. Look at you. Someone that I'm trying to advise. Look at her behavior. I know you definitely know Slim will never choose you over me. And that is why I'm here to advise you. So that you move out from this house. To avoid wasting your time. And look at what she's doing. Well, we shall see. We shall see. Who he married. Who is this? Man, that's sitting in front of my house. Old woman. Please, what are you doing in front of my house? Oh, my daughter, I'm hungry, so I decided to come to this house to beg for food. Old woman, please, is everything all right? There are so many buildings around this house. Why did you choose this house? My daughter, come here. Hey, down. what kind of witchcraft is this? Upon all the houses around this house, is this house you chose to come to beg for food? Does this place look like a restaurant? See, if not of your age, I would have slapped you for that. Please get out of this place. Leave. Calm down, my daughter. I'm not a witch. It's poverty that has made me like this. So if you have something, just give it to me to survive. Old woman, please. The food I have, I will throw them away. I think that would be nicer than giving it to you to eat. Please leave this place. Oh, so you are not leaving here. Leave this place. Oh, my daughter. Because of this, I asked for food. So you pushed me down because I came here to beg for food. Ah, so you are crying. Just because I pushed you on the ground. Look, if you fool, I will drag you on the ground. Something I easily do to my parents, not to talk of a stranger.
<laughs> Mommy. Mommy. Why are you sleeping here? Oh. My daughter. I'm hungry. Can you help me with some food? Please. Okay. My boyfriend will be angry when I send you inside. So I'll go there and bring you food so that you will eat okay. 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 Thank you. The food. Oh, thank you. Mommy, if not my boyfriend, I would have sent you inside. It's even raining. It's okay, I'm fine. I'll be fine okay. here. Okay. Eat for me, okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I eat some. How much? How much? How much? It's for me. Hey, Rosie. Is that how you are? What's the meaning of this? The last time I tried to advise you, you told me a lady needs to respect her man. But look at what you are doing for a stranger. Slim one us not to entertain any strangers. But look at what you are doing for this stranger. Not even a precious one. A beggar. Look, this is a sign of disrespect. And I promise to tell him everything when he comes. I know what that means. He's going to suck you. And I, Mabel, I'm going to be the lady that he marries. Listen to me, Mabel. I don't care if you tell him or not. I will help the old woman. Even if he sacks me from this house, I will go and leave the marriage. Aww. I don't care. Good girl. I'm glad you understand this. Continue your charity. Excuse me. My daughter, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Please go back. Don't worry, I'm okay. It's even raining. Hurry up and go home. Okay. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Rosie! Yes! Come here. Rosie, you are going against my rules in this house. You are beginning to go against my rules in this house. Hey, I've not asked you anything. I have warned the two of you never to entertain strangers in this house. And you went ahead to entertain a stranger in my house. This clearly shows that if someday I decide to marry you, she will always disrespect me. I'm sorry. You know I've never disrespected you. And I'll never disrespect you. This woman was dying of hunger. You know I can't watch her die. That's why I helped her. She don't have sympathy more than me. She don't. 
Look, there are a lot of dangers attached to helping strangers. And that is why I keep telling you people not to do that. Now, the next time something like this will repeat itself again, I will not hesitate to suck you from my house. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Get out of my sight. Calm down, my love. Please calm down. But I thought you were sack her. This should let you know that I deserve to marry and not her. Look, when the time is right for me to choose who to marry, I know what to do. Rosie! Rosie! I've been calling you, but you are refusing to stop. Look, you and I are fighting over one man. But no matter what, it's only one person who is going to be selected. So we shouldn't let this make us to become enemies. I really love you as a sister. Even the Bible says we should love one another. So please, whatever I've done to you, Please forgive me and let me move on. It's okay. So what's your problem now? Um, I can see you are going home. So let's work together. Okay. My daughter. My daughter. You evil old woman. If you don't step back, I will use my papers to speak. Hey, stop it. Rosie, please, do help this woman again. I won't tell him, but if he comes to know, definitely, you will lose everything. Mom, please, what do you mean? Please, my daughter, help me. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll give you some money so that you can buy food for yourself. Thank you so much. God richly bless you. Amen. God will help you in everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you once again. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Hmm. Rosie, why do you do that? You think what you did is the right thing for you to do? Whilst the man you wish to marry has given you rules to obey. When your husband tells you not to help your mom when she's dying, can you do that? No, I can't do that to my mother. But she's not my mother or any of my relatives. Every old person out there is your mother or father. So when you see them, help them as your mother and father. Excuse me. Wow. This sounds... Really good. I think she's ready for anything that will happen. The both of you, stand here. Which of you helped the stranger? I am talking to you and you are looking at my face. I said, which of you helped the old woman? Baby, please, it's Rosie. I told her not to help her, but she didn't care. She even told me if she comes and you suck her, she's ready to leave. Is that so? It's true. I'm sorry for going against your rules, but I can't leave the old woman like that. Rosie, I gave you a straight instruction and you went opposite of it. You are not scared of me. Look, you can no longer stay in my house. Go inside there, pack your things and leave my house now. 
Go! He set a simple rules in my house and you go contrary to it. He wants me to marry you. Baby, so now that she's leaving, when is our marriage ceremony happening? Um, the wedding and staffs. Because I think during our wedding, we should invite the Minister of Energy since he's your friend so that he come around. And I also want to know the dates so that I'll go to my family now and tell them everything, especially the wedding dates. Look, do not worry about that. Now that everything is obvious that I am getting married to you, I am going to sit with my families and then we'll plan a date on how we're going to do it. And for the energy minister, ha, ah, forget about that. He is my bosom friend. Once I give him the call, that is it. Okay? Oh, Don't worry. <laughs> Babe, I'm leaving. Ah, you are still here? I thought you were going on. Ah, well, the wedding date will be asked very soon. Please, my sister, try and pass through, okay? Hey, you stand there. So you are not sick. See how energetic you are. Well, I guess you came for your friend. Because you've put her into trouble. Baby, this is the old woman Rosie helped. Ah. I am sorry for everything I made you want to. I'm okay. Baby, who is she? This is my mother. In fact, my biological mother. Hey, 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 go, 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 go back. Mess! Mess! Boss! Come! James! Come! What, what is going on here? Why? Now take this disrespectful evil girl who doesn't know how to respect others to the hospital. Now listen carefully. Make sure you sit by her until she wakes up. Tell her never to step a foot in my house again. Do you understand? Okay. Mom, thank you so much for letting me know the woman to marry. A woman who has sympathy for others, no matter the circumstances. Thank you. Do not mention my son. Baby, this is my mother. She helped me to know the kind of person to get married to. Actually, I've been looking for a respectful woman. A woman who has sympathy for people. And because of my riches, it is very difficult to find one woman because every woman I find wants to play the good woman side. So I wanted somebody that I would put a law that is hard on them and go against it. That is why she came in and she helped me. Yes, it's true, my daughter. Marry me. Yes. 